is my monster. We're doing. Wow, I thought he got into Skyview because he's smart. But he seems pretty well off. Ah! Sorry. You. you must be Natalie. Who are you? I'm Amanda, and I'm. Guys, away, because I need to pray. Okay, guys, let's continue. I'm here because, well, your brother is is on a field trip, and he asked me to take care of you. Are you his girlfriend? What? Uh, no, no. She's so cute. Oh. Too pretty for him. What? What? No. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my whole life. Really? Oh, you? That is so you think nice. that? Uh -huh. That is so nice. All right, guys. Natalie. You must be hungry. Do you like pizza? Yes. Pepperoni, please. Yay. Got it. I'll order it right now. I got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Here you go. Here you go. This is so good! Mom, so why won't you have any? Oh, I'm not hungry. No, you're lying. There's no way you don't want this yummy pizza. Fine, yeah, I'll have a slice. Delicious. Mm, you're right. This is irresistible. <laughs> yeah. She's feeding it. To your to yes. her nose. Now it's dessert time. Aw, oh, she is so cute. Make sure you wash your hands. Yes. Wash while singing a song. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy Eat up. <laughs> wow, I was supposed to take care of you. But it seems you can take care of yourself pretty nicely. Yep. Ever since our parents died, Jason and I had to take care of ourselves. I... I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It happened when I was really little. That is so sad. Can you please tell me a so story? Sad. Sure. Once upon a time, there was a princess, and... <sighs> Okay, she, I think she is uh, really sleepy, sleepy, yeah. she is really sleepy, don't know why. This is not Maybe a computer because, game, this is a oh. browser game, you just go to a link, just start ad. playing the game, Come on, and you, you log in. I hate ads! Okay, there we go. I visited him every day to bring him his schoolwork. <laughs> I can't believe you still care about this when you're in some critical condition. No need to be a drama queen. Well, I am a Skyview Queen, after all. <laughs> wow, I literally think that's the first time I've ever seen him smile. Duh, he's a, like, gothy, <laughs> but nice at the same time. Natalie and I became the best of friends. She was like the sister I never had. Oh, that's a cute pajama. What happened to all my social media apps? I deleted them so you would stop going on your phone and playing with me. I guess that's kind of During a winter break, thing, I still I went to visit him. I don't know. Is he okay? Yes. He is just very tired. I'll be quiet. Mm-hmm. Wow, he looks so peaceful when he sleeps. Not always angry like he was at school. He's How is smiling. He looking? What's that you said? She says, why is he so good looking? <laughs> it's nothing. You must hear that all the time. It's different when you say it. Weren't you sleeping or something? Ugh, e you're so annoying! <laughs> Ma'am, this is unacceptable! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I like oh, his you. face. He's just like a little kid on the inside. Yeah. 
He is actually. For some reason, I, I always felt why. forced to like Lucas, but it feels different with Jason. Yeah, you are forced to like Lucas. Even he. Even I just him. don't understand why you haven't asked Amanda out yet. This would bring our revenue up like crazy. Yeah, this is driving me crazy. Dad, can't you see? All these years you've been forcing me to act however you want me to. I don't like her. <gasps> Son. Yeah. I Are you disobeying me? I'm just finally standing up for myself. Come back here! <laughs> Think about the money! Okay, all you care is about money. Is it Lucas? You have won a million dollars! Give us your credit card information so you can get it. It's amazing. I wish I could tell him. Let's see, what if I ask him discreetly? Amber. Hi, um, Lucas, I have something to ask you. What is it? Let's say there was a girl who liked a guy, but she's too shy to tell him. What should she do? Hmm, she must be talking about Jason. <sighs> oh, I guess she should just tell him. Because what's the worst that could happen? I should have asked her earlier. It's too late now. She's like... Um, like wanna walk to English together? Yeah. Really? Blushing. Sure! What?! Amanda! Is that Lucas with her? Amanda, hasn't he been your crush for forever now? To be honest, I don't really care anymore. The truth is, I never liked him anyways. Really? I thought you really liked him. Because he's the cute. Amber, you got this. They picked you for a reason. You deserve to be here. The letter said to find the director. Where is he? Uh huh. Come in. Oh my gosh, it's you, the head of Hollywood's biggest film studio. Um, hi. I'm Amber, from the short story contest. Amber? Yes, that's right. You can call me Joe. Ah, Joe. Your story was amazing. Joey. Listen, we could turn your short story into a full-on production. Really? Well, sure. Yes. Let's brainstorm, right now. Write down any ideas. Um, I'll try. I hope you don't find this offensive, but this place feels a bit stifling. I... I can't really think. Huh? I mean, don't get me wrong. Your office is great. It's so professional and squeaky clean here. But for me, the best stories come when I'm immersed in my thoughts, without fear of judgment. I see. Never thought about it that way before, but it makes sense. I'm going to be honest. I haven't had an epiphany for a story for quite some time, so I've been feeling stuck lately. Let's head to the cafe I work at, if you don't mind. I get all my best ideas there. A cafe? Interesting. Let's go. Oh yeah, by the way guys, this is my dinner, so yeah. And this character should serve as comic relief, especially during the dramatic moments. Haha, <laughs> how clever. That looks so good right now. Oh. It's you. <gasps> if you like Frenemies, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and share it with your family and friends. Okay. Let's continue. I thought you were dead. I'm so confused. Where are you guys taking me? And Aunt Melissa? 
How do you know him? Sweetie, just be quiet for a second. It will all make sense. Welcome to my humble abode. Come, take a seat. Why are we here? Amber, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Dad, have you seen my... <gasps> what is she doing here? You two know each other? Yeah. There's something I need to tell you. This is a story, a true story. Henry Collins, head of Collins Co., dominated America's real estate industry. But what people didn't know was that Henry's health was failing. That's when he began to teach his son, James, everything he knew. Industry secrets, how to negotiate, the details of all the I thought his name was but somewhere in the middle, something happened. <laughs> We've successfully intercepted confidential health documents from our rival, Collins Co. This is our chance. I know. I do not know who's that old creepy little dude. Uh -huh. Is this the leader of the gang, Ominous? Speaking. I need you to stop Collins Co. So that we can rise. The future of the company, Henry's son James, will be at the headquarters tomorrow. Take care of him then. Your wish is my command. He looks creepy. Huh? Who is that? <laughs> it's just me. Oh, the lazy stick. Why aren't you cleaning? I was hungry, sir. And it wanted. You know what? I'm tired of your scrawny self shivering all over this place. You're fired! Now get out! <laughs> That's me. Hi there, buddy. Are you alright? I'm so hungry. Here, have this. <laughs> Have a nice day. Wait, wait, wait! Huh? You're James Collins? Yes, and? I must warn you, uh, I used to work for a winder real estate, and they wanted to do something really horrible. There's no way for you to hide. They hired the deadliest gang ominous, and I'm so sorry. Please don't tell me when I was the one who told you this. What? James went to his father immediately. Ominous, you say? The hide, son. There's one last thing I need to teach you. Henry knew of a string of untracked trains along the country. They would bring James to California, where a secret boat would bring him to the isolated Sun Star Island. We will reunite in three years. I have to go study this map. Wait, son. You need one last... <laughs> Dad, are you okay? This device... <laughs> is the That's only sad. thing ominous comes. No, don't die! And it's the only way anyone can contact you. <gasps> Dad! <laughs> oh, something don't I forgot die. to mention. James was in love with a poor girl. But what are we going to do about her children? Stay and take care of them. I'll come back in three years. No, we're coming with you. Even if it's hard, we'll do it together. That night, they boarded the first train. I need to use the restroom. 
Be right back. Now? We're almost on the last train. You had to train C first. I'll meet you there. Fine. Where is it anyway? Where are you? I'm coming right now. I don't see you! I'm here. What? Train C, right? E? C! E as in elephant! No! Train C as in... They're in a different train! No! James later arrived at Sunstar Island. All he Sunstar? had were the clothes on his Sunstar back Sunstar and one dog. Okay. It was a rather strange shift for okay. him, as he was accustomed to constant pampering, but now had to learn how to keep not only himself, but his daughter alive. <laughs> his days were filled with swimming, cooking, and cleaning. <laughs> but his nights were filled with thoughts. Thoughts of his love. Thoughts of his home. And thoughts of stories. He dreamt of stories. Millions of them during those three years. Three years is a long time. A lot of change when James returned. What is that smelly homeless person doing in our town? Irwinder Real Estate replaced Collins Co. His love was nowhere to be found, and the Collins family was supposedly gone. When it seems he lost everything, he remembered he still had his stories and his daughter. She was the uh, only remnant of his past, so and he loved cute. her very much. James refused to re-enter the real estate industry and built a small film business to bring his stories to life. As his business began to grow, James spoiled his daughter with everything she ever wanted, hoping it would somehow fill the emptiness in his heart. And that's when he saw her. Sophia, my love, do you remember me? It's James. Please respond. Sophia, please see this. <laughs> These fans are getting crazier and crazier, saying they are your lovers. <laughs> I could never love again. I regret that thing so much. And one last detail. James, afraid of being recognized by Ominous, changed his name to Joseph. Joseph Carter. And his love, Sophia Castle. You? Wait, d does that mean you, you're... We found him. And Sophia Cassidy? She found herself stranded in Los Angeles. I was already out here in California as an art student, so she stayed with me for one month until she saw the news. James Collins, successor to Collins Company, announced dead. she was going, but I think she worked even harder. Before I knew it, she had risen in her career. I was happy for her, but also so angry that she didn't tell me anything or tried to contact me. That is, until a few months ago. When she was announced as a Valentina Diva. But I just don't get something. You knew she was alive. Why didn't she try to go to one of her fashion shows? I thought she'd moved on and was ignoring me on purpose. What a weak man. You gotta fight for your girl. <laughs> what so a if weak Sophia man. is my mom and you're my dad. We're, We're sisters? Twins, actually. Two minutes apart. This is too much for me to take in right now. Twins? But but we're so different. But I'm like my mom and I'm like my dad. All this time, to my own sister, I was so... 
So... <laughs> Sorry, girls. We were supposed to grow up together. We would have been one happy family, and... Okay. I bet he's gonna <laughs> slap him. Now, now, don't go on regretting what you can't change. Girls, I think... Huh? Whose is that? It's my mom. Um, our mom. Hello? Hello? That doesn't sound like her mom. Our black half up ponytail robot hair will be available on. set to go. Just make sure to be careful in the future. I will. Thank you. pretending all this time just to make him happy. And I know you don't like me. You never have. At first, I didn't know why. I thought I wasn't good enough. You know that's not true. I know now, because someone helped me see that. There's someone you've been holding back from telling your true feelings to. Tell her, or you might lose her. Amanda, guys. <clears throat> okay, sorry, guys. Why am I here again? Shayna, I think it's important for you to see how exciting these cases can be. Oh, our firm partners are just about to arrive. Keep an eye out on their son, would you? I've heard he's very handsome and sporty. Perfect. A rich, snobby Handsome golfer. and sporty. Here they are. <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Oh, the pleasure's mine. I'd love for our children to get to know each other. Come over here. Hi, I'm Shana Robinson. <gasps> Shana? <gasps> My parents have been gushing to me about the famous Robinsons. Are you really my Shadow Girl 7? Hey, Shadow Girl 7. <laughs> Are you really the captain of Team Shadow? My dad said you were athletic or something. Esports, duh. <laughs> <laughs> the trial for people of the state of California versus Grand Games Incorporated is now in session. The prosecution can what? now give their opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. 
jury. I am here to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the defendant's grand games inc. has been circumventing gambling laws through the loot box system in their game, Overlook. I don't even know. So, yeah. The defense may now give their arguments. Thank you, Your Honor. Here at Grand Games Inc., we're all about making our customers, people like the members of our jury, happy. We bring happiness to our customers, and they give us money in return. What is so wrong about that? Now, Mr. Robinson, when would you say was the last time you gambled? Hmm, well, I bought a lottery ticket a few years ago. When you bought your lottery ticket, you were using money for a chance to get more money. Yes? I suppose so. That is gambling. But the loot boxes are different. People are using money to buy in-game items, not money. But they don't know what they'll get. That makes it gambling. They don't know what they'll get, but they'll always get something cool that they can wear. That's why they are just buying something. Uh, that's true. Uh, well, uh... Um... I rest my case. I've never seen the Robinsons at a loss for words. Ugh, Mom. I don't know, actually. Huh. We should give it a shot. The prosecution calls a surprise testimony. Objection! Your Honor, only experts are allowed to testify. This is the prosecution's daughter! Actually, she's one of the best Overlook players in the world. She beat a pro at the finals. Thank you, Noah. Even though I love the game Overlook, the loot box system is a problem. With respect, the defendant is being misleading. Ooh. The chance to get what you actually Ooh. want in a loot box is very, very low. And there's a lot of social pressure to get the coolest new skins. A lot of my friends bought what? loot boxes to fit in and are now addicted. The animation for opening these boxes is undoubtedly like a slot machine and therefore I... using gambling methods. Uh. I rest my case. No idea! What uh, is uh, uh, she uh, 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 Okay. Okay, now he's out of words. Like, uh, 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 uh. The jury has uh, made uh, uh, a decision. I don't know what to say. Like that. The Robinsons have done it again. Shayna, we have to apologize for what we said to you earlier. Really? We couldn't have won this case without you. From now on, your gaming ban is lifted. J just keep your studies up, will you? Maybe I can have the best of both worlds after all. <laughs> what? what? Twins! You're talking about the girl who had the audacity to launch a fleet of dodgeballs at you. <laughs> yep. All along, the daughter of two A-listers was our best friend? Oh my! But you guys accepted me before you knew that, and that means you guys are real friends. Promise you won't tell anyone. Duh, we won't. We don't have any other friends anyway, so who could we possibly tell? <laughs> <laughs> I promise this doesn't change what we think of you. You'll always be our clueless little Amber. Aww. Guys, you Lee know, Amber. I actually have to leave for a month to go to the Valentina Diva fashion show. Wait! The show where... where Luke Brown is performing? Yep, and I got extra tickets! Yee! Is this real? Oh my gosh, yes, yes! I will finally meet my husband! An entire month? Y'all are crazy. <laughs> There's no way I'm going. <laughs> but you guys have fun. <laughs> I, I literally can't. Like, I literally can't. Literally. Hey, keep it down. Oh, right. I forgot. Excuse me? This is our table. <laughs> After that embarrassing homecoming queen loss, I don't think you deserve to be a Skyview queen. That table belongs to us now. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Our table is pretty empty. Obviously! If you want, you can join us! 
get everybody started. Honestly, up. I guess I don't really mind. Oh, I'm gonna have to conquer my biggest fear. Ha! <laughs> There's only an empty spot at that loner's table for them, because that's how low they've descended. You know, sitting here is actually less scary than I thought. It's actually quite nice not sitting Just in the middle Just sitting, sitting, it's not scary Sorry, at all! Emma, I really like your braids. Really? Uh, uh, Thanks! Uh, uh, um, Shayna, I like your headphones. They're the exclusive gamer ones, right? Oh, yeah, I actually... Come on, Shayna, you can do this. I actually am a gamer. You? you? Yeah, um, I'm ranked among the top 1% for this game called Overlook. Whoa, doesn't that take a lot of time? I actually play on a team almost every day. What? Like, what? You know, it's pretty cool uh, how you have a secret identity. To be Shana the Skyview Queen and yeah. Shana the Gamer must have taken a lot of work. You never said I was geeky because I like science, so I won't change my mind about you. You'll always be my best friend. You guys yeah. are the best. <laughs> I like how he's like looking at them like like that, I think. I don't um, know. Um, hi. Like hi. He's just I've only sat by myself in the bathroom, at them. but wanted to know if I could join you. I've what? only sat by myself in the bathroom, but yeah. wanted to know if in I could join you. In the bathroom? Sure, you can sit with us. Everybody can sit with them. Looks like they're enjoying life with the lowest of the loners. Ugh. Yeah, it's fun. It's not that bad, actually. Jason, um, you're back. Yep. Can I talk to you for a second? You guys go first. I'll catch up. Did you see what I saw? Amanda blushing at Jason? <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> you know, Natalie is usually scared of other people. Thank you for taking care of her. Oh, it's really no problem. I loved her. I can see why she likes you. Really? Because I do too. She's blushing, blushing, blushing. Eee! I brought different outfits for the pre launch party, the post show party, the VIP party, the general public Jeez, party. Jeez, I don't no. understand why these people need to party so much. I feel like a month is an unnecessary amount of time to be away. Auntie, you have to enjoy life! Plus, you have to come to all the parties with me. I brought so many outfits that I think would look lovely on you! Um. <laughs> you definitely are Sophia's daughter. OMG, I can't believe I'm traveling in the middle of the school year. I feel like such a rebel. <laughs> are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, what if she freaks out when she sees me? Maybe it'd be better for me to not ruin her performance. You said the same excuse to run away from that phone call. Yeah, You've been to all again. these schools. You have no excuse now. Everyone, we have to head to the gate. Slap. Wait! Amber! I need to talk to you before you leave. Who is this? <laughs> it's about time. Thought you'd never take my advice. Trust me, we should go first. Amber, meet at gate E in ten minutes. E as an elephant! E as an elephant! What? Why did you come all the way here? Look, I haven't been honest to anyone lately. Not to myself, and not to you. When I was little, my dad taught me that having other people like you was the most important thing to succeed. Because of that, I was so concerned about what other people thought of me and being popular. But then I met you. When I talked to you, I felt like I was someone different. But that someone was my true self. You didn't think my inner nerd was weird or anything. So I went to the cafe every day because every it was the one place I could be myself. <laughs> you didn't know who 
I was. You didn't want to be my friend because I was a future CEO or <sighs> Skyview King or whatever they call it. You wanted to be friends with the real me. The truth is, I've liked you ever since I first met you at the cafe. I couldn't bring myself to say it until now. I... I like you, Amber. I hope you have a good time in Paris. I'll miss you. The truth is, I... I ain't gonna miss my flight! I'm late. I ain't gonna oh, miss no. my flight. You should go, really. I have to tell you something when I come back. to come. Let's go to the waiting area. Actually, uh, <clears throat> we're not headed there. Huh? We have a private jet. <laughs> that fight Claire's face. Wow, these past few months have flown by. I can't wait to meet Mom again. I had no idea what was about to come. Stay tuned. Finale of Frenemies. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe down below and click that notification bell. Love you all. Peace out. Assalamualaikum. Bye.